Jesus Christ said, I can do nothing without the Father. What you hear me say, you hear him. What you see me do, you hear him. When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, who did he pray to? Himself? No. When he, when he was laying there on the ground and the blood was pouring out of his head and, and drops of blood were coming down because he, he was so, was he worried about missing his friend going to the cross and getting butchered and whatever? No. He was worried about being separated from his father. Hear what I'm saying to you. This, you don't come to church. Don't say that no more. I'm going to church on Sunday. No, you ain't. Don't go to church. Go to worship. Anybody can do church. Come to worship. Father, I come to worship. I come to praise you. You're in a good house with a caring pastor. You're in a good house. He doesn't have any problem with laying down his own business, his own life, to look after his flock. And that's wonderful. He cares about you. I want everybody right now I want everybody right now to bow your head and close your eyes. This is not a politic. I really mean this, and I want you to examine yourself just for a moment today. I really want you to look inside yourself and ask yourself the question, do I really, really, really believe? Do I really know the Lord? I do. Amen. Amen. God has sent us here all of us this morning to receive and he said he'll put breath into you he'll put new seed put new seed news on you put new flesh on you and cover you with skin and you'll know that he is the lord god all you have to do is open your heart and it's not something you're going to say because Jesus never went anywhere and told people to say this prayer after me and you'll be saved. If you don't know the Lord this morning, I want you to pray with me right now. How about it? And if you don't want to know the Lord and you don't want to be pushed into this and you feel you're being led and it's not right, it's not this and it's not that, then I bind the enemy of confusion in the name of Jesus Christ, I remove him right now and open up your heart and spirit of God. Repeat after me, Heavenly Father. I can't hear you, man. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come before you this morning. And I repent, Lord. I put all my sins before you. I ask you to cleanse me, Father. From this day forward, I want a loving relationship with you, Lord. I want you to teach me to love as you love me. I want to understand, Lord, all that you mean for me to understand. From this day forward, Father, I invite you, your Son, Jesus, and your Spirit, the Holy Spirit, into my life. Take me, Lord, and guide me. In Jesus' name, I humbly surrender. Amen. How many people said a prayer like that for the first time today? Could I see your hands? Should be anybody? Amen. 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 I want to ask you one question before I go. Will you tell somebody about Christ this week? Will you tell somebody that God is real? Will you tell somebody about my testimony? Don't mention my name. This guy, I heard this guy. I want you to understand something. God is real, God is real. You, and you, and you, and all the little ones, all the
the young ones. God has a special place for you. And no matter what society tells you as you're growing up, society's a lie. Society's going to tell you ain't nobody special. There's only one of you. Only one of you. So you can't be an average, you know? I am an average guy. You need more than one to make an average if you know anything about arithmetic. You're the only one that God has, just like that Mona Lisa, that artist painted that. And if you went into that art gallery to buy that painting and said to this, the gallery man, hey, I want to buy that, it'd take you were nuts. You can't buy that painting. The artist already made one, the craft man only made one. Only, only made one to, you can't be, there's not another one around. You can't make another one. Get out of here, you're nuts. It's, it's priceless, it's precious. It's rare. Exactly. When you look in the mirror, nobody looks like you, sounds like you, smells like you, talks like you, walks like you. There is not, God didn't make 10 of you and put them in Florida, another 10 of them. There is only one of you. That makes you priceless, makes you rare, makes you special. And God loves you just the way you are. Amen. Eh? You don't got to get CQ or QVC or any of that. You don't need all that stuff to tell you. You need this and you need that. God loves you just the way you are. And you walk with that in your heart and your mind from this day forward. I'm God's child. I've accepted Christ into my life. He's washed my sins away. I'm a new creation. I will take God's word and from that blueprint, I will, with the Lord's help, build a new me in Christ. Fellowship, come to worship, and don't forget your prayers. And always have your arms open for the one that hurts and love them. Have something for them. It don't cost you something. It ain't worth nothing. I love you, Pastor. Musicians, come on up. We'll do one more. 